Hello everyone, this is Karen, and this is my entry into the Dollar Store Christmas Junk Journal Challenge, hosted by Kara Brandon and Julie Freeman Fisher, or Dear Julie Julie. First off, I want to say, ladies, thank you so much for hosting this challenge. It has really made me step way out of my comfort zone. And I'm also going to apologize because this is my first ever craft video and I'm really not set up for videos I don't have proper lighting and proper equipment I even had to rig a um, tripod but I wanted to enter the challenge so here goes all of my items came from the Dollar Tree and what I used was a 72 by 12 inch red table runner um, a package of 60 um, gift tag stickers. I used a package of jingle gift tags, six count. I used a 20 count box of Christmas cards. And there's the back. I also used a five count of small gift boxes. And this is all that was left out of those. I also used a four pack of um, medium size gift boxes. And I used, this was a set of um, sticker gift tags. And they had like, it was like a little booklet. And then these glittery stickers were stuck on top of the booklet thing with uh, these little pop dots and I just disassembled them and used the the tag in one place and then I used the stickers elsewhere for decoration this is all that's left I used a 20 count pack of Christmas doilies I used a set of four metallic um, markers that came in gold, silver, copper and brass also used a set of glitter glue. I got a three pack. It was red, silver, and gold. And I also used a pack of children's doodle pad. That's what I used for my paper. I used the front cover, the back cover, most of the paper. And the paper was very, very thin. So I don't have anything to show you. And I wasn't going to buy a new one because I did not like the paper. And I will not use it for another journal. Um, next time, I'll wait till they got some better paper. On my list, my original list, I took some things off um, that I didn't use. I did not use the red and white striped washi tape. I did not use the gold glitter ribbon. I did not use the Dollar Tree lace. I did not use my kids' ink pad. I did not use these um, black and white sticker labels. There was 10 sheets of these. Um, and then when I got my journal done, I decided that I really wanted a tassel, um, just a simple one. So I went out and I got me some red sheer ribbon to use for my tassel and I used all of it and then I bought these jingle bells and you get 50 in the package and they're real small and I used two of those and so all together I used 13 items out of the 15 we were allowed my journal was bound with the Dollar Tree red and white um, Baker's twine and I also used the Baker's Twine throughout the journal for uh, for strings on my tags. Now, if you give me just a second, I'll get around here to where I can show you my journal. Okay. My journal 
this is my journal and it is six and a half inches wide it's eight inches tall it has a two and a half inch slightly uh, curved spine on it and there are six signatures with six papers each in each signature except for one and I put seven in that one so I have a total of 76 pages front and back um, I used a pamphlet stitch um, with a hidden binding and that was challenging because I couldn't use tie back and but I liked it and I also um, I made a tie closure out using the fabric off the table runner and most of the 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 strings or ties on my tags and those are the uh, the side trim off my table runner or the baker's twine that I use to bind with. This front of my journal, the spine, my tassel, the back's plain, this is this side, and I got all my little jingle bells hanging out on the side. And then I'm going to open it up. We have, and I was really pleased with the way my binding came out. <clears throat> I have a, a pocket here with just a single card. This book belongs to a little bit of journaling spot. There's a lot of space to journal in this one or add pictures. I plan on adding a bunch of pictures, and I'll show you what I'm going to do for picture corners in a minute. Uh, <clears throat> all the signatures are really close um, to the same all the way through the book. This is one of those little tags that had the, the glittery stickers that I took apart. And I just made a tuck spot out of it. You can write on the inside. And... Uh, I made small tags. This one's out of a Christmas card. Um, there's flips. And sticker. Here I made each each signature has a side belly, side to side belly band. And each one of those I used my cards to make journaling tags. And then um, just uh, papers out of my uh, catalog that I use for decoration. These were <clears throat> the corners of my gift boxes, the medium size gift boxes, where they naturally folded. And I just cut those in half, and I noticed those make really good tuck spots. And this was off of one of my Christmas cards. In these, I made uh, these once again are those little fold out uh, gift tags. And I cut up some paper and made a little booklet out of them. There's six of those in here. Um, journal, this is just pictures out of the catalog. The center, because the paper was so thin, I used the Christmas cards in the center to help um, keep my threads from going through, or envelopes. Um, on the, each signature has one of the jingle bells. Each signature also has a ball or a circle that was cut out of um, the cardboard gift boxes. And I've used them for tuck spots. My doilies, all the way through, each one has a doily, each signature has used a doily. Those are also tuck spots throughout. This was just a picture that was in the catalog that I backed with extra cardboard. Made a tuck spot with a journaling card in it. And sticker, 
box made each one has a pocket made out of the box decorated um, these are the insides of my cards with stickers I made tags out of them oversized tags <clears throat> each signature has an, a, a long belly band and then for the cards that had this orientation I decorated them up, used the insides of them, and a couple of them the outsides, but I made postcards out of them. And for my stamps, I used the pictures of the cards off the back of the uh, Christmas cards. Oh, sorry. Just a picture out of my catalog, another sticker, a sticker, a flip up. Um, another one of those little tuck spots and this is a ticket that was made uh, or cut out of one of my cards um, another tag and it's wanting to okay <laughs> um, here's a tag out of one of the cards food picture um, Another doily, another tag in this corner, and another one of those little booklets. Um, here I just took some of the packaging and created a mailbox, and in the center of the every other signature instead of a Christmas card I put an envelope which hid my uh, binding and once again I used the back of the packaging for my stamps inside each one of these there is um, just two pieces of paper that I etched with my gold metallic marker um, <clears throat> packaging and this is a spot where you can list your Christmas cards and this came out of the catalog um, and every other signature um, I made these little tablets out of packaging and paper gift boxes and paper another jingle bell doily more cards. This is also a tuck spot, and I don't know why I don't have anything in it, but I will go back and put something in that. Um, another pocket with a sticker and a tag. Um, another sticker, another belly band with a postcard. Sticker, just pictures out of the catalog. Used them for decoration. Uh, another one of those little gift tag pockets and a tag that you can journal on. And another flip. That way you can hide your secrets in there. And another side to side belly band with a tag. Sticker, another doily tuck spot, um, another corner tuck with another tag I made, um, another one of those little booklets, this one has ornaments on it, has some paper inside, let's see, sticker, Christmas card, middle of the signature, um, this was taken out of the catalog because I had real trouble finding any kind of religious anything at the Dollar Tree. Um, this is another one of those balls and another little tag and a jingle bell, doily, sticker, um, paper out of my catalog, another pocket, or yeah. 
a tag with a corner pocket and another one of those little tickets got out of my Christmas card. There are links right on the back. A sticker, another postcard. I just decorated the inside of the card. Sticker, this is that a tuck? I believe it is. I need to get something for that too, don't I? That's a tuck spot also. Made off of a Christmas card. Here's another one of those little um, gift tags. Folds out. Got another one of the tickets off the card. Another flip up. Oh, okay. And then I use my markers to make with snowflakes and use cut this out of the catalog. And then I love the packaging. It was so thick. I wanted to use it. I wished I'd had six of them. Um, but anyhow, for that I made a uh, little gingerbread. I just glued paper together to make it thicker. And made me a gingerbread cutout with lots of journaling space. Um, both sides, because the pocket's clear, I actually put the decorations on both sides, but this one's done with a marker so that you could still write over top of it if you wanted to, but as you look at it through the pocket, it's still kind of cute. And stick that down in here. Then over here we have another side. Side to side belly band and another tag and this tag has a tag in it and a little tag in it. Just something different. Um, decoration, another doily, another tag. Another one, little booklet. It's got a deer on it. Uh, and a sticker. Another letter to Santa Claus at the North Pole. Uh, it also has paper in it that's been trimmed with the gold marker. Just a picture. Oh! This is, table is very slick. Um, another one of the tablets. It just used boxes and paper, stapled them together, and put them in my little circle tuck. And Jingle Bell, Doily Tuck Spot. And this is the other side of that um, clear cellophane. And I used the front of a card here, and on the back I just put a little sticker. Another tuck spot. This is scraps off my cards that I made presents out of. And used stickers for bows. I put flowers on them instead of bows. Um, another postcard. In the belly band. Um, Cut out a ribbon up here. Decoration. Another one of those flip out gift tags and another um, tag. Just did some layering. Um, a clip. And another tag. Decoration, another tuck, and a doily. Um, another tag. Another one of the little booklets. More decorations. Another Christmas card. Decoration. Uh, another circle with a gift tag. Jingle tag. 
doily tuck spot sticker. Um, this was a, a box, piece of a box with uh, words out of the catalog on it. Um, another pocket with another tag. Belly band with another postcard. Seasons, greetings, and there's your postcard. more decorative pages, another one of the tickets, and another fold out, another flip, and another tag. A lot of repetition in here, but it's very usable, and, and I always use the whole thing. Um, another doily tuck. With a tag. Another one of the little booklets. Um, this has got the truck with the Christmas tree on it. A sticker, another letter to Santa. And it also has the paper inside that you can write on. That is hide and center of a signature. This page has boxes or presents that I made out of just cardboard scraps, mostly packaging, some Christmas cards, and then I took my uh, binding twine and made uh, both for the packages and just glued them down. Another round tote with another paper pad that I made, jingle bell, doily pocket. Uh, another pocket tuck with a tag. Uh, another belly band with a postcard. There's the front and there's the back. Oh, the paper is so thin. And another bottom corner tuck with just another card, another tag in there. Um, and then in the back, I have a big pocket. And in that pocket, I have these on the little bitty small boxes. They had the corners like this that were automatically folded. And I cut those off, and I think I'm going to use these around my pictures um, to look like picture tabs to hold them in. And then I also have a full Christmas card back here. And I'd like to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching my video. Once again, thank you to Julie Julie and um, Kara for doing the uh, event. And I sure hope we do another one because I have really enjoyed it. Thank you very much.